I give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, which in Hebrew are the wonderful names of the Creator, our Heavenly Father I Am, which this world has named God, and His beloved anointed Son, which this world has named Jesus. I give honor, respect, and thanks to all the true, faithful, and sincere apostles, elders, prophets, and torchbearers of the nation of Israel who have willingly endured and risked much to bring forth the truth. Thank you, brothers. In this chapter, we are beginning the conversation of spirit of life. This, as always, is for our brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel, the mighty nation of Israel being the so-called Negroes, the so-called Latins, Hispanics, and the so-called Native Americans. The spirit of life of our Father through the Son. The spirit of life. The first scripture we're going to in this chapter is... The book of the prophet Job, chapter 32, verse 8. But there is a spirit in man. So in the last chapter, the spirit wanted to discuss there be spirits. So there be spirits, right? But there is a spirit in man. We must accept that and understand that. And then inside of discerning, we discern what spirits are in man. But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. So understanding, wisdom, discernment, knowledge, and understanding are gifts from our Father, Yahweh, the Most High Power, the Creator of heaven and earth, the Creator of all things, the Creator and Destroyer. They are gifts given to move his purpose forward, to move his plan forward, to move his counsel forward. Verse 9, great men are not always wise, neither do the aged understand judgment unless given by our Father unto his servants. Great men are not always wise, neither do the aged understand judgment. So let's take Esau, Edom, Idumia, Mausier. They have been the head nation upon the earth for a long time now. Nothing has troubled them or vexed them. They think that their houses shall stand forever. But now the Father is showing them true judgment and they don't quite understand it (laughs) great men are not always wise neither do the aged understand judgment the book of the prophet Job chapter 38 verse 36 who hath put wisdom in the inward parts or who hath given understanding to the heart This is our father questioning our forefather, the prophet, uh, Job. And he's asking him, of all the things that I have done, who hath put wisdom in the inward parts? Rhetorical question, it's our father. Our father does it all. And he does it uh, first and foremost with his nation, the nation of Israel. But he will do it with those of the other nations to prove his might and his strength and to prove his plan, his device, his counsel. He will have things said that are left as landmarks. Landmarks so that you can, we as his children, his royal children, his uh, royal sons and daughters, that we can look back and see these landmarks 
and realize that our Father left them for us when we woke up through the grace and the mercy of our Father, through the Son, at this time. Things being wisely said through those of the other nations left as landmarks for his royal children to look back upon when we wake up, when we remember to be filled with the spirit of life, when we remember. الإسرائيليين لا يقاتلون ضد الفلسطيني فقط يقاتلون ضد الأمة العربية هذا قتال الوجود وليس قتال حدود وهم ينتظرون اليوم الذي يحل فيه المشكل الفلسطيني لكي يتفرغوا للهجوم على بقية الشعوب العربية الخندق الفلسطيني يقاوم نيابة عنكم يجب دعم حشد كل إمكانيات وراء الخندق الفلسطيني إذا سقط هذا الخط ستتقدم القوات الإسرائيلية إلى البلاد العربية ومحيط الخليج يريدون إقامة إمبراطورية إسرائيلية فوق الأرض العربية لا تسمعوا حكاية الكلام مسيرة السلام خداع تتجيل على الجماهير أي مسيرة سلام مسيرة دمار ومذابح في لبنان في سوريا في فلسطين في, سو... في... في تونس في ليبيا الآن يدفن الفلسطينيون يدفن الفلسطينيون أحياء أحياء وهم أحياء في فلسطين اليوم هذه فرغة الانحطاط وخور ضعف العزيمة العربية هذا الجيل جيل الغرب إلى الغرب الآن يريد تدمير الحدود وإقامة الوحدة وإقامة القوة ومواجهة التحدي بالتحدي وتحرير فلسطين هذا يتحدي أمة تتحدى فيكم يجب أن تتحدوا هذه الأمة لماذا؟ هل أنتم جبناء؟ ما عندكم إمكانيات؟ أمة أمريكية تتحدى فيكم يجب أن تتحدوها مش تطاطوا الرأس أمامها نسمعوا شيء كلام يا وحدة يا سيتصبح زي الهدى or you'll end up like the Native Americans. Wisdom and truth spoken about the sons and daughters of the one true living most type power by someone of the other nations. Or you'll end up like the Native Americans. Well, who are the Native Americans? The second book of the prophet Esdras, chapter 13, verse 39. The books of the prophet Esdras can be found in the Apocrypha, which is the middle book of the King James 1611 Bible. And whereas thou sawest that he gathered another peaceable multitude unto him, verse 40, those are the 10 tribes. Remember, there are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Uh, the nation is divided today, the uh, southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. Verse 40, those are the ten tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea, Hosea the king, Hosea the king, whom Salmanasher the king of Assyria led away captive, and he carried them over the waters, and so came they into another land. So remember, uh, we have been in captivity time and time and time again as the nation of Israel for sinning against our father. This last captivity that we are coming to the end of is uh, uh, us being in the last of our last captivities. Verse 41, But they took this counsel among themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where never mankind dwelt. That is, today, uh, so-called North America and South America, verse 42, that they might there keep their statutes, which they never kept in their own land. So Northern Kingdom decided to go into the New World, this new land that no one had ever been in before. And they were indeed the first ones there. They walked about a year and a half to get there. And they were the native 
the so-called Native Americans, these uh, brothers and sisters of the nation of Israel, the ten tribes of the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, dark-skinned people, dark-skinned people. the sons and daughters of the one true living most high power. The book of Ephesians chapter one, verse 17, that the most high power of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, the anointed, the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. So is this spirit in you? There are spirits in a man, yes. We must discern what they are, right? That the most high power of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, the anointed, the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him, in the knowledge of the father and in the knowledge of the son. In the knowledge of the father and in the knowledge of the son. In the knowledge of thus saith the most high, and as it is written. So, the spirit of life what our Father says shall occur shall occur. History of conflict in the land of Israel since 1948. Since Esau, Edom, Idumea, Mount Seir, the so-called white nation, moved in. History of conflict in the land of Israel since 1948. So the way this is framed is that all these um, other uh, nations and families started war against uh, the Israelis in the land of Israel and that the Israelis are victims. Well, this actually can be explained. This can actually be explained. History of conflict in the land of Israel since 1948. The book of Exodus, chapter 17, verse 13. And Joshua, our forefather Joshua, who led us the nation of Israel. And Joshua discomforted Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. So who's Amalek? Amalek, they are the head family of the head nation upon earth today. They are the seed and bloodline of Esau, Edom, Idumea, Mount Seir the so-called white nation. And inside of the nation of Esau, Edom, Idumea, and Mount Seir, Amalek is the head family today. Just like Judah is the head family of Israel. Verse 14, And Yahweh said unto Moses, Write this for a memorial in a book, and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua. For I will utterly put out the remembrance of Amalek from under heaven. As it is written, thus saith the Most High. Written so much so that the Father said, yeah, write this in a book so no one ever forgets it. Verse 15, And Moses built an altar and called the name of it Yahweh Nisi. Verse 16, For he said, Because Yahweh has sworn that Yahweh will have war with Amalek from generation to generation, as it is written, thus saith the Most High. For he said, because Yahweh hath sworn that Yahweh will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. That's how this can be explained. That is how this can be explained. Because those who are in the land today, the Israelis, these are the ones who say they are the Jews and are not. 
these are the ones who say they are the Jews and are not and that can be proven because the father is at war with them still to this day as it is written thus saith the Most High the amplification of the destruction of this last wicked kingdom is right before our eyes the amplification of the destruction of this last wicked kingdom is now before the eyes of the entire earth. I mean, sure, you think that you can bully and intimidate people as you always have, but things are different today. This isn't 1991 and it isn't 2001. What a difference 20 years makes. The West is in shambles. Europe is imploding. America is bankrupt. You want to shift from sending all your money to the corrupt and steady losing army of Ukraine to now sending all of your money to the corrupt and steady failing army of Israel, as if your own people don't need that money. I mean, look, America just sent warships over to Israel. Nothing could better show what a failure Israel is, what a failure U.S. policy has been with regards to Israel. I mean, even Ariel Sharon back in the day rightly stated that Israel was supposed to be America's warship in the Middle East, but now you have to send backup. I mean, you've been taken for a ride for decades now. The American people pouring hundreds of billions of dollars to prop up a colonial project for all these years and it still doesn't work. Netanyahu and his buddies have been eating your money. I mean, do you even know how many corruption charges there are against that man? The book of Proverbs, chapter 2, verse 4, If thou seekest her as silver, and searches for her as for hid treasures, our mother wisdom. This is how we need to search for this spirit. So that if the Father finds us worthy, he will bless us with that spirit inside of us. If thou seekest her, our mother wisdom is silver, and searches for her as for hid treasures, verse 5, then shalt thou understand the fear of Yahweh and find the knowledge of the Most High Power. What our Father says shall occur, shall occur. Submit and wait until the Father says it is time. Verse 6, For Yahweh giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. As it is written, thus saith the Most High. For Yahweh giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Here is where we are in the timeline. The book of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 13. Sirach is also called Ecclesiasticus and can be found in the Apocrypha, which is the middle book of the King James 1611 Bible. The spirit of those that fear Yahweh shall live. So we do inventory. We discern the spirits that are inside of us. And if the fear of the Father through the Son is not in you, you shall surely die. But that fear has to be in there righteously. It is not how we think we should fear the Father. But it is how we should actually fear the Father. And how do we know that? It's all written in this book. It's all written in this book. The spirit of those that fear Yahweh shall live. For their hope is in him that saveth them. This is why we need to seek our mother wisdom so earnestly. And those of us who are uh, in the truth today, we need to continue to hold on. We need to hold on to our mother wisdom. We need to hold on to our Savior, Yahweh We need to hold on to our Father in heaven. Literally for dear life. Literally for dear life. Verse 14, Whoso feareth Yahweh shall not fear nor be afraid, for he is his hope. And that's the truth. That's the truth. 
because we have been instructed of where we are in the timeline. There have been landmarks left for us where we can look back and say, the Father said that would happen, that happened. We can look and say, these other nations, they know who we are. We have to remember. Also through uh, our Savior, Yahawashai, uh, we have the testimony. We have His testimony, which is the spirit of prophecy. And we're watching that amplify upon the earth. French Institute in Gaza and AFP office hit by Israeli airstrike. The French Institute in Gaza was hit by an Israeli airstrike, but no injuries were reported among staff at the site. The French foreign minister said on Friday, while the Gaza office of news organization agency France Presse was also struck. The French ministry added it had asked Israeli authorities to explain the reasons behind the strike on the Institute and reiterated its very strong concerns over the number of civilian victims in Gaza. President Emmanuel Macron told reporters uh, during a visit to Brittany that France was starting to evacuate its citizens and Macron also reiterated his calls for a humanitarian truce. AFP said its office in the Gaza Strip was shelled by the Israeli army and seriously damaged on Thursday by a strike. None of the eight AFP staff members or permanent employees normally based in Gaza were on site at the time of the impact. All were evacuated to the south of the Gaza Strip on October 13, added the French news organization. AFP condemns in the strongest terms this strike on its office in Gaza City, it said. The second book of the prophet Ezra, chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Woe means destruction to the world, to the time frame, the age, the span of time of this last wicked kingdom. And them that dwell therein. Remember, Yahweh I said, come out of her, my people. Come out of her. Come out of her. Verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. Swords, knives bullets, missiles, missiles, rockets, ultimately thermal nuclear warheads. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Verse 16, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Verse 18, for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. So the French are like, hey, man, we had some property over there. You guys uh, struck our property. What's up? Thought we were working together. Thought we were friends. Thought there was some respect here. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes. We don't care about your country. We don't care about your title. We don't care about your authority. We only care about what we're here to do. The spirit that is in us. The spirit of destruction and murder and death. because it's an amplification and they can't help but to be who they are. And the Father through Yahweh is amping all of that up. So what you can see is the spirit of life or the spirit of of death and you're gonna to have to choose and once you've chosen you're gonna to have to continue to choose on a daily basis on a daily basis this is why you I said pick up your cross daily and follow me pick it up daily and follow me daily the 
The spirit of life has the spirit of fear of the one true living most high power and his son and the words that he has spoken. The book of the prophet Daniel, chapter 2, verse 20. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of the Most High Power forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. He's the one who gives it. Remember, there are great men who aren't wise because the Father hasn't given it to them. And then there are the lowly, the humble, the poor, the downtrodden, the oppressed, who have great wisdom. Verse 21, and he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. So those who fear the Father, the Son, and what the Father has said, they will speak wisdom. The Father will put it in their heart to speak wisdom on His behalf, on the Father's behalf. Remember? On the Father's behalf. Now, of course, the lion's share of this is unto the nation of Israel. Today, the one-third, the men, the women, the children, the true believers, the remnant. But He will use those of the other nations to prove His power and His reach. Verse 22, He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness, and the light dwelleth with him. So the future for a long time was dark for many, many people. But now, with our Father's uh, wisdom, but now, through our Mother Wisdom, the blessing of our Father, uh, our Mother Wisdom is enlightening uh, the way through the prophets, the men who have been given a gift to decode the future and show it unto those of the nation of Israel who can hear and see the deep and secret things being clearly revealed today. Clearly revealed today. And Yahweh Shai dwelleth with the Father because He is the light. And those who Yahweh Shai is inside of, they dwell with the Father as well. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. Portugal backs UN in bitter feud with Israel, which vowed to teach them a lesson. Top United Nations official is embroiled in an escalating dispute with Israel over his position on the Israel-Hamas war. Gutierrez also received Germany's support with a spokesperson for the government in Berlin saying on Wednesday it had confidence in the UN chief, according to Reuters. On Tuesday, Gutierrez said during a Security Council meeting that the violent Hamas attack against Israel on October 7th did not happen in a vacuum, triggering furious reactions from Israel. In response, Israel's UN ambassador Gilad Erdan told Israeli radio on Wednesday morning that the country has denied a visa to UN Undersecretary General Martin Griffiths following Gutierrez's comments. Due to his remarks, we will refuse to issue visas to UN representatives. The time has come to teach them a lesson, Erdan told Army Radio reported Times of Israel. Gutierrez followed up in the early hours of Wednesday morning saying that the horrendous attacks by Hamas cannot justify the collective punishment of the Palestinian people. Some top Western officials have been appealing to Israel to mitigate its response against civilians in Gaza a coastal strip of land where more than two million Palestinians live and where Hamas militants are in control. Following Hamas's deadly attack in early October, which killed more than 1,400 people, Israel has carried out relentless retaliatory airstrikes and put the Gaza Strip under a complete siege, cutting off fuel, electricity, and water, and killing more than 6,500 people. 
Europe must act urgently against planned genocide in Palestine, Spanish minister. Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu should be judged as war criminal at International Criminal Court, says Ion Balera. So now that we have some understanding, remember that those who lead a nation, a nation of people, or a nation, country, they are the kings, right? They're the rulers. So they are the kings, just different names. President, prime minister. It doesn't matter, right? All kings. The people under them are their princes, ambassadors, undersecretaries, all princes of the kingdom, right? And our father is in control of all things. So here are uh, some kings coming against the current king of uh, the Israelis, the current king of the Israelis. Now, the current appointed uh, king of the Israelis, the uh, Amalekites, Amalek, the ones who say they are the Jews but are not, he had a plan. He had a plan. The first book of Thessalonians, chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety. For when they shall say peace and safety. A few years ago, I stood here with a red marker to show the, the curse, a great curse. The curse of a nuclear Iran. But today, today I bring this marker to show a great blessing, the blessing of a new Middle East between Israel, Saudi Arabia, and our other neighbors. We will not only bring down barriers between Israel and our neighbors, we'll build a new corridor of peace and prosperity that connects Asia through the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Israel, to Europe. This is an extraordinary change, a monumental change, Another pivot of history. But I also believe that we must not give the Palestinians a veto over new peace treaties with Arab states. Sanctions must be snapped back. And above all, above all, Iran must face a credible nuclear threat. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Amplification, amplification, contractions. They come closer and closer and closer, closer and closer and closer. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. And they shall not escape. משנוטרלה ההגנה הצבאית, הדרך לפגיעה באזרחים הייתה קצרה. כל חוליה קיבלה יישוב מטרה וגודלה היה בהתאם. על קיבוץ בארי הגדול, למשל, הסתערו יותר ממאה מחבלים. כמה חוליות נפרסו בצירים הראשיים, הקימו מחסומים ותקפו שוטרים למנוע זרימה של כוחות תגבור. מי שבאו לעזור, לא שיערו בנפשם איזו כמות וכוח אש יעמדו מולם. באותה העת חגגו בחניון רעים אלפי בני אדם במסיבה, בלי לדעת שעשרות מחבלים מאגפים אותם מכל הכיוונים, ברגל ובכלי רכב. קצת 
עתה מחופשים לאנשי ביטחון, כך לפי העדויות. הם הגיעו לטווח קצר מאוד מהמבלים ולא הותירו להם סיכוי. תוך כדי מנוסה אנחנו רואים אנשים שחוטפים כדורים ונפצעים, אנשים שמסתתרים מהחילופי אש, נזרקים לרצפה. ההערכה היא כי חלק מהמחבלים שפשטו על המסיבה היו אלה שחדרו במצנחי הרכיפה והצליחו לנחות בעומק השטח. כך נוצרה מתקפה מכמה כיוונים בשטח רחב יחסית. ניסינו להתחיל לברוח, אבל בעצם ראינו שכל הכבישים מסביב ממש חסומים ואין לנו איפה לברוח. אנחנו קולטים רכב מתקרב אלינו במהירות, ומתוכו יורדים כמה מחבלים ומתחילים לירות עלינו. הטבח במסיבה נמשך עד השעה 12 בצהריים. And the U.S. has deployed the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier group near Israel. My colleague Haim breaks down the key features of the U.S. Navy's newest and most advanced aircraft carrier. Haim, over to you. Thank you so much, Raisha. Now, the Hamas attack, it marked the biggest and deadliest incursion into Israel since Egypt and Syria launched a sudden assault in a bid to reclaim lost territory in the Yom Kippur War 50 years ago. The United States has deployed the USS Gerald R. Ford aircraft carrier group near Israel. The USS Gerald R. Ford, the U.S. Navy's newest and most advanced aircraft carrier, is accompanied by cruisers and destroyers. And here's all you need to know about the mighty warship. The warship is capable of carrying the U.S. Navy's most advanced fighters, electronic attack aircraft, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles. Among them are F-35 and F-18 fighters and MH-60 helicopters. Between October 17th and the 24th, uh, U.S. and coalition forces have been attacked at least 10 separate times in Iraq and three separate times in Syria uh, via a mix of one-way attack drones and rockets. We know that the groups conducting these attacks are supported by uh, the IRGC uh, and the Iranian regime. What we are seeing is the prospect for more significant escalation against U.S. forces and personnel across the region. We are preparing for this escalation both in terms of defending our forces and responding decisively. If Iran or its proxies attack U.S. personnel anywhere, make no mistake, we will defend our people, we will defend our security, swiftly and decisively. Nobody's turning a blind eye to Iran's complicity. Their support for these, back, these, these, uh, these militia groups in Iraq and Syria, their support for terrorists throughout, throughout the region, uh, we have addressed that through additional sanctions, we have addressed it through additional military force posture. Соединенные Штаты уже находятся в ряду лидеров. И чем больше будет вот таких инициативных шагов со стороны, по большому счету, любого государства, тем выше риск, тем выше опасность того, что конфликт разрастется. Dolayısıyla Türk milleti bunu biliyor. İsrail biz de seni savaş suçlusu olarak dünyaya ilan edeceğiz. Gazze'de savunma değil açık ve alçak bir katliam yürütülmektedir. Daha düne kadar uğradıkları 
mezalim üzerinden dünyayı ayağa kaldıranların bugün sergiledikleri sınırsız zalimliği başka türlü izah etmek mümkün değildir. Bölgede oynanan oyunun asıl sahipleri İsrail yönetiminin şımarıklıklarına kol kanat gelenlerdir. Çünkü İsrail onlara rağmen adım atamaz. Atmaya kalksa bile üç gün dayanamaz, çöker. Batı kendi elini kirletmeden, kimi zaman parayla satın alarak, kimi zaman fitneyle birbirine düşürerek, kimi zaman İsrail örneğinde olduğu gibi suçlarının üstünü örterek araç kullanmayı, alet kullanmayı sever. What is my response? I'm not used to receiving uh, uh, lectures uh, about morality from a leader who bombs Kurdish villagers in his native Turkey, who jails journalists, who uh, helps Iran go around uh, international sanctions, and who helps terrorists, including in Gaza, uh, kill innocent people. Uh, that is not the man who is going to lecture us. Our father through Yahawashai said we would know who is who. All things would be revealed, all things uncovered, all things brought to the light, all things being brought to the light. The book of Revelation, chapter 12, verse 9, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. It's clear who is who. It is clear who is who. It is clear who has the spirit of life and who has the spirit of death. The book of St. John chapter 8 verse 44, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. We are not the victims. Sorry, we are the victims. We are not the aggressor. I'm sorry. Uh, but I can tell you that we are not targeting anyone else in Gaza but civilians. Hamas is cynically, uh, but rather, but rather a uh, uh, terrorist, of course. If the international media is objective, it serves Hamas. If it just shows both sides, it serves Hamas. He was a murderer from the beginning. A liar. A liar. A liar. A liar. But our father is not. Our father is not. What our father says shall occur shall occur. The book of the prophet Joel, chapter 3, verse 2. I, Yahweh the Most High Power, will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, the valley of decision. Everyone is making their decisions. Everyone is making their decisions and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Hamas conflict has witnessed numerous countries expressing their support for either Palestine or Israel. Notably, the United States has firmly backed Israel, while China has appeared to take a more neutral stance, 
Initially, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi acknowledged Israel's right to self-defense against Hamas during a phone conversation with his Israeli counterpart Eli Cohen. Wang emphasized the importance of all countries having the right to self-defense while also stressing the need to abide by international humanitarian law and protect civilians. However, in a separate call with Palestinian Foreign Minister Riyad al-Maliki, Wang expressed China's deep sympathy for the challenging situation faced by the Palestinian people, particularly those in Gaza. China has called on Israel to adhere to international humanitarian law, ensuring the safety of Palestinian civilians in its conflict with the Hamas militant group. Additionally, China has expressed its support for peace talks between the two sides. As per a statement from Wang's conversation with Cohen, China will firmly endorse any resolution that promotes peace and will make every effort to support any resolution that fosters reconciliation between the Palestinians and Israelis. Furthermore, in the midst of the ongoing conflict, the Chinese have deployed six warships to the West Asia region. Their exact arrival time is unclear, but they were first spotted in the Gulf last week. This naval task force consisted of three warships, including a destroyer, a frigate, and a supply ship. They made stops in Oman and Kuwait. The destroyer, known as the Zebo in China, is equipped with guided missiles, advanced radar, and electronic equipment. The task force's last known location was Muscat, the capital of Oman. There's no confirmed information about their current whereabouts after leaving Muscat. Another group of three warships was observed earlier this month, escorting a cargo ship from Panama. As of now, their current status is also uncertain. All these warships remain in the region, and their presence has sparked various speculations and discussions, including the possibility of the Chinese interfering in the conflict. Welcome to China in Focus. I'm Tiffany Meyer. As the Israel-Hamas war rages on, big powers are growing their military presence in the Middle East. China stationed six warships there, including two missile destroyers. The U.S. also sent two carrier strike groups to the region as a message of deterrence. The Chinese warships belong to two task forces. One of them has been there on an escort mission for six months. The other three ships are there to replace them. But the old task force didn't return to China after handing over the mission to the new one. It's still lingering in the Middle East, saying it's staying to visit friendly countries, which is quite unusual. The two task forces exchanged missions on October 2nd, five days before the Israel-Hamas war broke out. But the ships have stayed in the region, visiting countries like Kuwait and Oman. China analyst Tang Jingyuan says the Chinese warships are there to send a signal that Beijing has influence in the region. He noted having a military presence there also is a show of support for countries close to Beijing and, in essence, it counters the U.S. presence there. The last scripture we're going to in this chapter is... The second book of Thessalonians, chapter 2, verse 5. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. This is our Savior, Yahweh speaking upon the earth today through his servants unto those who are turned unto the Father through the Son in truth and in sincerity with righteous fear of the one true living most high power knowing for a fact that what our Father says shall occur shall occur. Verse 6 And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. Verse 7, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. Our Father allowed this last wicked kingdom because they were a scourging unto the nation of Israel for our uh, wickedness against our Father. 
and for the pollution of the land that we were in where he dwelt with us. And it was quiet and hidden for a while who was the devil, who were the deceivers. But, verse 8, And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. This word being spoken today the truth being made manifest being made known spoken not only by the royal sons and daughters of the one true living most high power but by those others of the other nations who the father has put the spirit of wisdom in to speak about him and his children And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. This word, this truth, this light is the spirit of life. Because there's nothing to fear. This was spoken of. This must occur. It must happen. Where will you stand? On a daily basis, where will you stand? We're going to have to choose on a daily basis. Where will you stand? And for some... You might have to stand alone. It might be the safest place for you. If the spirit of life has touched you, please do not let it go. But cry unto the Father for more, to be filled with more, and to be able to uh, contain more. We are watching the words of our Father come true. All hail the King of the heavens and the earth. All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. Make no mistake about it. World War III and the nuclear destruction of America are coming. It will coincide exactly with the return of our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Savior, High Priest, and Brother, Yahawashai. Thus saith Yahweh. Philippians 2, 9-11 Wherefore Yahweh also hath highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahawashai every knee shall bow, of things in heaven, and things in earth, and things under the earth. And that every tongue should confess that Yahweh Shai is Lord to the glory of Yahweh the Father. As it is written, thus saith Yahweh, and nothing can stop it. This is a final warning, Israel. Shake off this world, remember who you are, and come home. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai.